On the next page, we have three word problems, and we're going to draw a triangle for each word problem. So for example number one, we have a six-foot ladder is leaned up against a house that touches the wall 5.2 feet above the ground. So I'm going to have a little house here. And we are going to have a ladder that's leaning up against the house. And the ladder is six feet long. And it touches the house's wall 5.2 feet above the ground. So the height that it's going up the house is 5.2 feet. And then obviously we have the ground, so we got some grass here. And it says, what angle is formed between the top of the ladder and the wall of the house? So what angle is formed between the top of the ladder and the wall of the house? We're going to be looking for our angle, which we're calling theta, um, between the ladder and the house. Now for the second problem, my second example, I have the angle of elevation between an onlooker standing on the ground and an airplane is 25 degrees. So we have a person They're standing on the, on the ground and they're looking at an airplane. So we have an airplane up in the sky. That's your airplane right there. And we're looking at it with an angle of elevation. Now, elevation is up high, so we're looking up at it. This angle of elevation between my eyes and the plane is 25 degrees. Now the plane is 2,000 feet above eye level. So 2,000 feet. Above my eye level. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my eye level. Um, with the distance above where the airplane is. Now it says find the horizontal distance between the onlooker and the airplane. So horizontal is this direction, right? So I'm trying to find this distance, knowing that I have a 25 degree angle and it's going to be 2,000 feet above me. Now example three is telling me that I have a bicyclist traveling, traveling eight miles north. So we have a bicyclist, he's going eight miles north. And then he goes nine miles east. Find the angle that determines how far off south of due west should she travel to go directly back to her starting point. So remember, first we traveled north, then we traveled east. And now she wants to know what the angle she has to make to get back to her starting point. So there's my triangle, and I'm looking for this angle. Now, in all of these problems, we have an angle, right? That's my theta. I should have labeled it theta down here as well. Now, do you remember what's across from theta? Across from theta is always going to be identified as your opposite side. So across from theta, here theta was given, it was 25. So my opposite side is the 2,000 feet. And here, the opposite side is 8 feet. So I'm always looking for across from theta. Now we can also identify our hypotenuse, because each of these triangles is a right triangle. So my hypotenuse is going to be the slanted side. So in this case, my hypotenuse is six feet. In this case, I don't know my hypotenuse. And in this case, I also don't know my hypotenuse. 
And then lastly, we have our adjacent side. Now your adjacent side, well, it's not the opposite side, it's not the hypotenuse. So in this case, my adjacent side is the 5.2 feet. So here's my angle. My adjacent side, remember, is next to the angle. Next to the angle. All right, so we have identified all the sides of a triangle and we've set up the word problem. And if you need to know how to solve it, we're going to go ahead and let me choose a new color here. We're going to set up the problem. So in this case, example number one, I have theta. There is no number with the opposite side, so I can't use the opposite side. I can only use my hypotenuse and my adjacent. So looking at Sokotoa here, which one of them uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, here's adjacent and hypotenuse, so I'm going to have to use a cosine problem. It's going to say the cosine of the angle. So, so for ka, cosine of the angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine of theta equals my adjacent is 5.2 over my hypotenuse, which is 6. So we're going to set up the problem, and it's going to look like that. We don't quite know how to solve it yet, but we're just setting them up. For example number two, I have my angle, and there is a number next to my opposite side, so I'm definitely going to use that. And I want to know my adjacent side. That's what I'm trying to find. So if we look at Sokotoa again, which one sign cosine or tangent relates the opposite side and the adjacent side. So the opposite side and the adjacent side. Let's see here. We have opposite and adjacent, right? That's going to be my TOA. So I'm going to have tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now we don't know the angle. Oh, I'm sorry, we do know the angle. It's 25, so I'm going to write the angle is 25. Tangent of 25 equals the opposite, which is 2,000, over the adjacent, which we are trying to find. So that is the setup of my problem. Tangent of 25 equals 2,000 over x. Now for example number 3, see if I can get a different color here. Um, we haven't used purple yet. If I'm looking at example number three, here's my angle. I'm trying to find it. I am given the opposite side because that comes with a number. And my adjacent side has a number with it. So looking at Sokotoa. Which one sine, cosine, or tangent relates the opposite side and the adjacent side? It's the TOA. So I'm going to have the tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. So that means the tangent of my angle, which I'm trying to find, which is x, equals the opposite side, which is 8, over my adjacent side, which is 9. So that is the setup to the problem.